you know what it is. Oh, I gotta fix the camera. There we go, baseball case, a whole bunch of nothing. Baseball case and a whole bunch of nothing. It's been a minute, but I've been busy. One forty-two. I should probably turn this down. I gotta move that over here somehow, man. Well, my room is all fucked up, man. So let me turn this down. Yep. All right. Now check this out. I went to Walgreens, and every time our Walgreens over here in Cleveland, the one where I'm at. Not all of them. They never had any baseball cards. Well, I walked in there tonight to get some batteries from a, for a female friend of mine, and they had them. And this is what they look like. I never knew what they looked like. We're gonna open them up right now. They come like this. Now this is Walgreens. It says, I look for randomly inserted cards, packs, parallels, autographs, and more. One in eight boxes or packs contains a hit. So um, this product contains randomly inserted baseball cards, packs, parallels, autographs, and more. Products in this package have been purchased directly from the manufacturer, purchased from the secondary market, we packaged for retail sales by Fairfield Company. Fairfield, which is a very credible company. Um, contents in the box may vary. Above items are not guaranteed. Um, Fairfield's a, a good company for baseball cards. Not high-end. I've never seen a real high-end Fairfield card before, but um, they're definitely replica. They're, you know, they're not like no tops or panini or anything like that, but um, they hold their weight. They hold their own. Some of their cards are valuable. It just depends on which ones you get. I got this. Then I had to run to Walmart anyways. So, hang on, let me look this over, make sure. Uh, and I got this. Right there. Another Bowman Platinum. It was the last one. They got some optics up there. I'm going to pick one up probably tomorrow. Um, I only saw one left, so I'm hoping it's still going to be there tomorrow. Um, yeah, the optics are like 34 bucks plus tax compared to the Bowman Platinum, which is 19 It was $22.75 for this, and 34 with tax, 36 something this was $4.99. So we're gonna open this up first. But first, special shout out to my co-host out there in the uh, Philippines, Brian Kua. Yeah, so hopefully everything's good for you with you out there, Brian. I'm gonna try and make this a short one. I'm only opening the Walgreens right now. Because I'm running late. I got some things I still have to do yet tonight. It's already uh, five to 10 at night. Sunday evening. Browns lost, got blown out by Bill Belichick's boys, the uh, New England Patriots, 44 to 7, I think the final was. I don't know what happened to us. We kind of started out all right in the beginning, and we started, we lost the game or two, then we picked up the pace, and now we're just, um, OB3, or whatever the hell his name is, Beckham, he left us, which is good, I guess. I don't know, man. It's all messed up. That's why I don't, I, don't toy, I don't toy with the Browns no more. They're just, to me, they're heartbreakers. I'm tired of my, getting my hopes up. We just get let down. I'm going to stick with my Jets, New York Jets. Sorry, man. Always loved the Jets. Even with, when Joe Namath was with them, I was, I was, fuck. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> uh, but I always liked them even, I, I liked them since uh, Joe Namath was with them, and they've had a, they had a couple good seasons, really good, solid seasons in the, uh, like, I would say 2008, 9, 10, and 11. They had a really good squad back then. Um, but I mean, they're, they're horrible. So uh, I don't even know what the record is this year. I'm not even following football. Um, I know our Cavs, my Cavs are doing good. Um, I haven't been really following them, but I know. 
um, we've, our, our records were definitely well above 500. So we're doing good. Um, but this is not a show about basketball. It's a show about baseball. Right, Brian? So let's get into these right here. What? The music? Fear Factory. The Manufacture album. All right. Uh, let me see here. I'm just gonna tear the box up, I guess. Let me just cut them open. <laughs> there. Razor blade. God damn. Alright, and they come packed weird. I thought they'd be in a package, but they're not. So let me cut this off. Let me cut all this excess off here. I don't know what type of cards are in here. I've never had one of these before. This is the first. So this is the first time opening. This right there. And then see them down in there. They're, they've been repacked. So, all right. Uh, all right, I gotta cut this now. All right. There we go. Oh, there is a pack in there. As you can see, this is kind of cool how it comes. It's like a little mystery box, actually, Walgreens. See? So let's um let's see what the pack is. Alright, as you see, there we go. Um Prince Williams Cannons. I don't know, these are weird. I've never seen these before. Let me have this box. Put them right here. I'll put them right here. All right. I know I'm so organized, right? All right. I'm gonna set them right. Well, here's the pack that came in it. It's an old. It's a Fleer. Wow, it's a '92. So they repack. Walgreens gets these repacks. As you're saying, it's a '92 Fleer, which is pretty good. '91, I think, was be the best. So. Put these right here, and then I'm gonna set these stack of cards right here. You get a lot of for $4.99. I got these plus all that. So here's Brent but Brett Butler and the card company. It's definitely something you would never send to Panini or um, to PSA because it's the centering's way off. Oh, this is an upper deck. Prince Williams Cannons. I don't know. Look at the back. That's Brent Butler. And there's the back. See how weird that is? Did that see that? I've never seen this before. This is uh, this is '99. Upper deck. I don't think is you know they're no they're no longer with us. I don't know what happened with them. And then uh, I don't know what this is. This is weird. It's a Topps Heritage Lucas Duda bunt. Number 65 in a series of 104. I don't know, okay, here's a Cole Calhoun, Diamondbacks, Tops Heritage. So far, this is not a great, but for $4.99. <laughs> I'm gonna put the uh, rallies before I. Rich Gedman. I don't know, that bunt card might be. And Brad Moore from the Phillies. Oh, we got Don Russ in 1990. That was a good set. Jeff Petrick. 
Al Newman, Kevin Menart, McCart. I'll just show all three of them. It's the Don Russ 90 series, I have, which I have all of them. Uh, then we've got the Fleer 91, which I said that's my the best Fleer, Fleer I feel. Uh, Mike Moore. We got Fred McGriff, Hall of Famer. Fred McGriff. Got these two guys. Okay, enough of them. Fred McGriff. Hall of Famer. Charity guy. Marty Clary. These are basically all old repacks. So let's just kind of skip through. I'll just get to the um, Hall of Famers at least. Uh, and here we go, Tom Candoti, he was with the Indians. He was with the, um, with the Oakland A's too and one other team. I'll set that aside because that goes with my Indian stuff. No. Let's see here. Charlie Huff, Hall of Famer. Buck Rogers. <laughs> he managed the A's. He was with um. Oh man, I want to say um, he was with uh. I want to say. I don't want to guide you wrong. You have to look it up. I want to say Milwaukee though for some reason, but I'm probably totally wrong. Oh, these now. I'm just gonna show you the. Frank Campbell. Here's an old reprint. 52, Frank Campos. These really aren't worth anything. I mean, the center, <laughs> how bad the centering is on that. Look at that. Really bad food. Uh, I'm looking for just the Hall of Famers. Yeah, there's guys in here that I ain't even heard of. Here we go. It's not a Hall of Famer, but uh, Steve Finley. I don't think he's in the Hall, Hall of Fame. This guy isn't. I'm only going to show him just because he played for Cleveland. Mike Jackson. Played in the World Series in 97. Mike Hargrove pulled him out. Should have never put him in and put Jose Mesa in. Should have never done that. There's a Brewers Leaders card. Yeah, these are all old. These are all classic old cards. If I would have known that, I wouldn't even have purchased it because, well, I don't know. There was a couple new ones. Bud Black. I don't think he's in the Hall of Fame either, but I'll show him because he's an Indian. Put him up here. Uh, let me see here. I can get a parallel or a variation. Odd, I ain't got nothing. I ain't got nothing. I get it. Oh, here we go. Hall of Famer Lenny Dykstra. My favorite. My favorite is when I was growing up. His name's Leonard Kyle, by the way. Hear that, Lenny? Uh, here we go, Tom Glavin. Tom Glavin, Hall of Famer. And that's pretty much it, man. I'll just show you the last card, which was uh, MVP. I don't think he's a Hall of Famer, George Bell. Look at that Jerry Curl. Look like Easy E from MWA. <laughs> um, let's open this up real quick, I guess. see what the hell we got. It's the Flair, 92. Like I said, Flair, the yellow ones are the... Oh, we got... Shit. Right off the top, we got Glavin. Glavin. Wilson Alvarez. Wow, this is a great pack. Mike uh, Siosa. 
Jesse Orasco. Oh, we got the big hurt, Frank Thomas. Tom Candoti again. Oh, he's with the um, Toronto Blue Jays too. I said the Oakland A's, I said one other team. Toronto, that's who he is with. Uh, you know, record setters, Joe Carter. Hall of Famer, best switch hitter in the game. It, uh, he's got three, over 3,000 hits, switch hitting. So uh, let's see who else here. Oh, Kevin Brown. I believe he's in the Hall of Fame. And uh, let me see. Oh, he's in, here's an Indian. I remember him too, Willie Blair. He didn't do anything spectacular with us. <laughs> Nothing really at all. <laughs> and just Sid, uh, Sid Vereen, played for Atlanta. I remember him. And that's it. $4.99. The best cards were these right here. And they're not even great cards. The three newer ones. And I don't even think Butler's, a, yeah, Butler's not even a new one. It's these two uh, Tops Heritage, 2015 and 2020. I don't know about these. I'm gonna look this card up here in a, in a minute, but um, special shout out to my daughter, Maddie. I love you. You know, you, you know I do. You're my everything. Ah, double up, lightly. So um, be good for your mom. She works hard. Um, you're bigger than life itself for me, and I think of you constantly. And we talk, and you talk back, and you know. <laughs> so I love you with all my heart. You're my everything. Uh, be good for your mom and protect yourself at all costs. It's stupid out there. Um, check on senior citizens around the area. Uh, for whatever reason, they're trapped in the house. Just it's the right thing to do. Three, three keeps for your um, family pet that you consider a family member. Keep them hydrated, keep them fed, and keep an eye on them. And uh, that's pretty much about it. You know, COVID, economy's crashing. It's uh, Inflation's through the roof. So I don't know how it's over there by you, Brian, but uh, horrible over here. Special shout out to uh, Hank and June. Uh, uh, they, uh, they're the ones who uh, now endorse this show and they pay for the cars. So with that being said, thank you to both of those guys and uh, oh yeah, new mascot. <laughs> yeah, it's not mine, but it is now. <laughs> It's uh, the guy who um, endorses this, so he don't need it. I do. So I gotta name him. So help me think of a name for this guy. So with that being said, everyone take care. I'm gonna get this off and get this on. I'm gonna do another one tonight with the Bowman Platinums right there. So tune in again right afterwards. So with that being said, peace. Be good. Be safe.